Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new. My name is Veda and this is The Simple Budget. Here on my channel I show you how my family is using the zero-based budgeting method in order to get out of debt and simplify our financial life. If that sounds like content that you're interested in, I would love it if you would hit the subscribe button and join our little crew here. And with that being said, let's get into today's video. Hello everyone and happy Monday to you. Happy Cash Stuffing Monday. Um, I hope that your weekend was lovely and I hope that you had a happy Easter. Oh my gosh. <laughs> You're all on one today. <laughs> I am keeping that in. <laughs> I can't edit it, is it? <laughs> no way. <laughs> you have terrorized all of us enough that I am leaving your snort in. Sorry. <laughs> Oh my gosh. I hope that doesn't bother the people with mesothelioma though. It's <laughs> a moderate mesothelioma. It's not actually mesothelioma. I just can never remember the name of it. Misphonia? Encephalitis. No. Oh my gosh. We haven't even gotten Turks into the... and Caicos. <laughs> Oh my gosh, if I have any new viewers, we I think we've scared them off. Count the money. Oh my gosh. Anyway, I hope that your Easter was happy, that you enjoyed your ham or your lamb, whatever it is that is traditional for you to eat at Easter dinner. I'll be curious to know. Um, I am willing to bet you that lamb is more maybe northern and ham is probably a little bit more southern. Lamb and is I more biblical. Lamb is more biblical. I don't know how ham got into the mix. Because who doesn't love ham? I ask you. See, this is the southern inside of me. Although I'm not southern. But I grew up like right near the Mason-Dixon line. So there are definitely parts of me that are southern for sure. Um, my love of grits is probably at the top of that list. And ham. I do love ham. Do I prefer it to lamb? Probably not. I like them both equally, I think. But anyways, <laughs> what a tangent. My goodness. Leave me what your Easter meal is. I would be so curious to know. And where you're from. Um, I say this like, you know, there aren't people in other countries who celebrate Easter and maybe do it completely differently. I don't know. Anyways, hello and welcome to my channel where we go off on tangents and rhyme our Easter dishes. Anyways. I hope, again, that you had a lovely Easter, genuinely. Um, today we are back with another cash stuffing. We're going to be stuffing $1,093 today. This is our last cash stuffing for the month of March, which was a magic month for us, uh, which means that Mr. Simple was paid one extra pay for this month. Um, and if you're curious how we go about budgeting for an extra pay period, you can watch my March budget with me, which I will leave linked for you now. Anyways, I'm going to count this money and then we will get into the cash stuffing. So here we go. One, two. I blame you. <laughs> I blame you. One, two, three, four, 55, 56, 57, 20, 40, 60, 88, 20, 40, 60, 80, 99, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 1,000, 10, 20, 35, 45, 55, 65, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, and 93. Oh, 1,093 is what it was. I don't know if that's what I said. I feel like I said 1,097. Maybe I said 1,093. No, it's a, a thousand, said 1,093. Well, to them, I mean. I don't remember what I said. But it's 1,093. <laughs> Even if I said it wrong. There we go. I'm going to have to straighten all of this out because this is not cute. There we go. I don't know why. It's just going to get messed up anyway, but for now, it looks cute. Anyways, first step, I'm going to pop into my wallet, but I have a fun story for you guys. So last in Lax... English is hard. In last week's cash stuffing, um, I had a ton of receipts from work because our system hiccuped a little bit and we were like printing the wrong receipts to the wrong receipt printers. Um, this week, 
it, it happened again. And when I tell you, I have the fattest stack of receipts here to scan into my cashback apps. I was like, there's just only one group of people who I know, I know we're going to care about this. And this is the people. So I'm showing you this so that you can laugh because I was cracking up because I told my coworkers, I was like, wait, don't throw those away. I need them for my cashback apps. <laughs> and one of the like older ladies who works with me legit had them sitting in a stack on the counter for me. <laughs> I was so happy. I was like, thank you. Is scanning receipts the modern day equivalent of cutting coupons? Well, I think people cut coupons still, but... Nobody cuts coupons. Absolutely, they do. Nobody over a certain age or under a certain age cuts coupons. No. No, they, because every place has apps now. Oh, okay. Well, fair enough. Right. It's the same thing, but... So maybe I just answered my own question. Maybe you did. Anyways, if you have no idea what I'm talking about, there are certain apps that you can download where you can... Uh, take pictures of your paper receipts in, in the app and then you will get points for those receipts. And then eventually when you accrue enough points, you can trade them in for either cash or gift cards. It just depends on which app you're using. Um, all of my referral info as well as the cashback rewards apps that I use are always listed below in all of my videos. If you use my referral code, I will get bonus points, but you will too. Um, but I just like to make everybody aware of that. Anyway, I'm going to be like a scan in full over these next couple of days to try to get all these receipts scanned in. So I have no rollover cash from groceries. I mean, you guys know the drill at this point. Inflation is killing me. It's killing me. It is killing me. I'm not even kidding. It's just, I mean, also, I don't know. I feel like there's something, there's something psychological that goes hand in hand with Things are more expensive. And I wonder too if this is like, if this harkens back to like the early days of the COVID lockdowns where there was like, there were people who were panic buying stuff. And I largely didn't participate in that, but I definitely purchased more than I would have ordinarily just because I was so worried about running out of certain things. And we really did. It's not like I was worried about it for no reason. There were weeks and months sometimes on end where I couldn't find certain products at um, my go-to grocery stores. And that was a little bit like, alar not alarming, but just it was unsettling. And so it made it so that when I did start seeing those products again, I would like stockpile them a yeah. little bit um, because it, it made me go into panic mode. And I feel like inflation is making me feel like that. Mm. Like where it's like, stuff is more expensive so i need to buy more of it i don't i don't know because like i'm looking at our freezer today because i start assessing what i'm gonna need on my next grocery shopping trip like a day or two before i actually do my grocery shopping and i was looking at our freezer and i was like i actually have plenty of meat in here in order to make at least two more meals but i don't need two more meals so i don't know we didn't think we were going to get into grocery shopping psychology did we but this is where we find ourselves today. Anyways, this is our coin jar in which we put our coins that we have left over after cash purchases. And we will not be counting this until January of 2025, which is a weird concept to think about. Like, and there will be $13 in there. Oh, stop. There's going to be more than that. I think maybe. Anyways, we'll find out. Let's get into this topic, shall we? Uh, first step is high priority sinking funds. And first up in high priority sinking funds is groceries. It's getting $440 this week. So one, two, three, 54, and 40. And that's all she wrote. That's all she got in there. I like your nail colors. Thank you. Did you do that this morning? No, no. See, it's it's Let's chippy. Yeah, I yeah. always do my manicure before my weekly check-in video. Mm. It's become become something of a ritual. But yeah, this was. I was actually thinking this was gonna. I was telling the people this. If you watched my video on Friday mm -hmm. in my last weekly check-in, you probably didn't. Did you? I did. I don't believe you. Did you really? Oh, oh, he's oh he's pulling out the phone for. Okay, I believe you. I believe you. I never really doubted you. You don't lie to me. But um, anyways, I was telling the people in that video that I was 
thinking this is going to be more of a royal blue and not so much of a navy blue, but this is where we find ourselves. Oh, you know what? <gasps> I lied to you. I didn't. Oh. It was the budget with me that I watched. Oh, okay. I did, yeah. All I right, put well. I put the budget with me up last week also for the month of <laughs> April. Oh, happy April. It's April for the people. Yeah. It's not April for us not yet, for us. but it's April for the people. So happy April to everybody. This is like, now we're like in spring. Even I feel like Texas is trying to have uh, some spring weather. Well, it's summer weather for most people, but for us it's spring weather. Summer weather is like over 100 degrees. Anyways, taxes is up next. Um, oh, it's being skipped. It's being skipped this week. Good. <laughs> I hate paying these people. I hate it. We did submit our taxes, though, so we'll be curious to see. Mr. Simple is a negative Nelly when it comes to taxes, and he is convinced that we're going to have to pay. I am convinced that we'll either break even or maybe get a little something back, but we'll see. No, I think we're, we're either going to break even or have to pay a little something. Oh, okay. Anyways, in taxes, we have twelve fifty in the bank. And then in the envelope, we have one, two, three, four, five, uh, 50, <laughs> 470, 490, 510, 520, 35, 45, 46, 47, 48, and 49. So 549 in our envelope, 1,250. I'm not doing that math. Like we all know I can't do that math. It's some number. It's some number and it's not happening. Poor little medical, which only has four dollars in the envelope. It's got two fifty in the bank, but it's got um, four in the envelope, and it's getting where'd that go? Oh, fifteen dollars today. So now it's got nineteen in the envelope. So what is that? Two sixty nine. Nice. nice. <laughs> Car expenses is up next. It's getting fifteen dollars today. Oh, this we took this to the bank too. I keep trying to pull out the placeholders with every that's good i gotta get the oil changed i know i saw that on the car yeah so now we've given kayla more reason to worry because i still haven't made our daughter's hair appointment and now we need an oil change so she's i think i need to hire kayla to be my personal secretary except for that i can't pay you but i can give you hugs and probably make you a really good banana bread but um that's where we are right now <laughs> um car expenses is getting 15 dollars today and now in car expenses, we have 250 in the bank, 270, 290, 310, 330, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 95, 400, 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So 417 in car expenses? Yeah. Very nice. When do we have to get our uh, registration? When does that? End of the year. Ooh, this was, that was, that was something. Okay, so end of the year. So we're just building that up the whole year. Mm -hmm. Uh, home maintenance is up next. It's getting ten dollars today. Oh, I'm trying to grab two of them. And Mr. Simple took all of your advice and he bought the leaf blower attachment thingy with home maintenance. So stay tuned for Friday's uh, what's it called? Check in. Goodness gracious, because we're gonna have to pay that back from this envelope. But anyway, home maintenance. I think I gave it the ten. Yes, I did, because I almost grabbed two. Now we've got 100, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 200, 5, 10, 15, 16. So 216. And actually, it was really fun because I was at work when he made the purchase for the leaf blower, and he sent me a text message, and he was like, the last time I purchased something from Home Depot, I had to put it on the credit card, and this time I paid cash, and it felt really good. It's true. It yeah. did. Yeah. I had to change the... the debit card or the credit card to the debit card oh you yeah. pay cash for it yeah i know that's exciting isn't it it is anyways this this style of budgeting i think at least for me it sneaks up on me every now and then still where i just get so excited that we are just funding our lives we're cash flowing everything and the the feeling of like peace that that brings is just it can't be overstated so anyways Household is up next, and it is getting $25 today. And I listened to my past self and didn't give it any ones. I just put in a 20 and a 5. Can you believe that? I'm proud of you. Thank you. Thank you. That was a, that was a little bit more of an effort of, you know, acknowledging my um, triumph than you gave me last week. So. You crave external validation. Sometimes, actually. Are there people who don't? 
No, I think everybody does to a degree. Yeah. Anyways, we are really getting psychological today. Household now has 20, 40, 50, 65, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, and 84. <clears throat> This is why for the month of April, I budgeted slightly less in household than toiletries because, I mean, look at her. She's empty. Um, toiletries is getting $28 today, and I just did a 20, a 5, and then three ones. Can you believe that? So at How least much is it getting, you said? 28 So it's going into the month of April with some money in it, which is always nice. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. <laughs> Uh, Close is up next, and Close is getting $10 this week. And now in Close, we have 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 1, 2, and 3. 103 in Close. Just keep praying that the kids don't need anything for the summer. <laughs> Uh, finance coaches being skipped. These little ones toward the back all only get one step a month because they're saving up for an entire year and it's like a small amount. So finance, co finance coach gets $60 once a year. So we just build up $5 a month toward it. But right now we've got 30. HOA is getting stuffed this week. It's getting $17. And now in HOA, we have 20, 30, 45, 50, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 56 in our HOA. This one is due in January, so it'll take some time to build. Union dues is being skipped, and it's got 50, 60, 75, 76, and 77. And that does it for high priority sinking funds. We currently have $1,000 in our high yield savings account for our mini emergency fund, which is there to just kind of serve as a buffer for our big emergency fund once we pay down our debt, which will happen in 2024. Bless it. Oh, that didn't snap. All right, low priority sinking funds is up next. And first up is, oh, let me just say something really quickly, actually. Um, this is not in danger of catching on fire. I can't remember if it was Sherry or Glenda who said it. <laughs> okay, a little concert for the people. Um, I can't remember who said it in my last video that they were worried about it catching on fire, but the 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 flower actually sits pretty reasonably high above the flame. And I also turned this in such a way that the flame isn't really impacting the flower, if that makes sense. Anyways, just thought that I would alleviate any concerns. And maybe it wasn't Sherry or Glenda at all, but it was somebody. So I thought I would address it. Um, Dine Out is getting $10 this week. We were able to fund this one uh, more than we anticipated this month because I did you know, collect a paycheck, which was nice. And so now in Dine Out, we have $20. $20. And haircuts is up next. It is getting, oh, I was like, tell me it's not getting skipped. It's not. It's getting $10 also. And now in haircuts, we have 100, 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 5 and 90, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So 197 in haircuts. Uh, home decor is being skipped, and I think it's just got 10. Yes, it's got 10. Um, dates is getting $10 this week, which is very nice. And now in dates, we have 100, 200, 50, 300, 20, 30, 40, 50, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, and 75. So 375? Yeah. Nice. Oh, I'm so excited. 375 in dates. That's a good date. Mm -hmm. If we could ever go on one. We'll get there. 
His is up next, and he is getting $10 this week. I oh, I pulled out your placeholder. I make these placeholders, by the way, in case you were wondering, in my Etsy shop, which is always linked below in my videos as well. I had a bunch of order. It was like it was like a placeholder. I felt like last month was dashboard month. This month was placeholder month for sure. So it's fun to see like the ebb and flow of that in my um in my shop. So now in his spending, he's got 50, 70, 90, 110, 120, 35, 36, 37, 38. So at 1,138. That's right. Very nice. Well done, you. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. Um, her it's like a backup to her emergency fund. Right. Yeah, because you're so responsible. Me, I spend my money. Anyways, I'm getting $98 this week. More returns. It's not me like getting crazy stuffed, but 70, 95, 96, 97, 98. And I think this was the last of my stuff that I returned, mm -hmm. so I will not be getting any more money back. Anyways, now in my spending, I have 50, 100, 20, 40, 60, 5, 70, 5, 80, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So 188 in my spending. Uh, pretty Hair is up next. It's getting $9 this week. And I know what you guys are thinking. You're thinking, Veda, why are you stuffing at $9? Aren't you stuffing at 10 and 8, 10 and 8? And the answer is yes, except for, I think you'll remember in, I can't even remember what my cash, the last one was, but um, I, this gets a certain money or a certain money, a certain dollar amount every month. Well, really, I if I do $9, a week, I have enough for my next haircut. But since there were five um, pay weeks in the month of March, I just decided to do 10, 8, 10, 8, 9, because that's how it like played out. Anyway, not that you need an explanation for that or wanted one, but I'm just like, you know, since we've been talking about this, um, that's how I've, that's how I'm doing it for the month of March. That was that was probably confusing to most of you who don't pay attention to how I stuff my envelopes, but that's how I decided to do it. And I'll go back to my 10, 8, 10, 8 schedule in the month of April. Anyways, now I'm pretty here. I have 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, and 23. You didn't need that explanation, did you? No. Yeah, I didn't think so. Family fun has been terrorized. Absolutely terror. Seriously. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> oh my gosh. Poor Mr. Hamilton. That's who that is, right? It says his name under the picture. Does it? Oh yeah, Hamilton. Look at me knowing stuff. I couldn't possibly care less about care less about entire men who think that they can run an entire country and probably do it poorly. Anyways. If you're wondering how I feel about presidents in general, the same way I feel about the government. Full of arrogance Count and the money. useless. Anyways, oh, I didn't even add anything to it. Uh, family fun is getting 22 this week. I know it's a weird number. You're just going to have to allow me to have my weird numbers from time to time. It makes sense if you could see my entire budgeting plan, like from a distance, but it, it also benefited by my pay, my pay in the month of March. Actually, I keep saying this, like everybody knows what's happening. I quit, quit my old job that I had over a year in February, and I was unemployed for a couple of weeks before I found another job in um, March. Well, really like the end of February. And so what we did was for the month of March, because we didn't know when my start date was going to be and all that kind of stuff, we budgeted for or we budgeted as if I was not making income in the month of March and so once I did officially get my start date and start earning income oh that was sorry that was my elbow um we then treated each of those incomes as separate little paychecks that we budgeted for and then went back in and funded certain envelopes that we didn't fund as much um when I did the original budget for the month of March so 
that's why it's getting like a weird number this week. So anyways, now in family fun, we have 20, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, and 42. So 42 in family fun. And this one we need to, we need to build up for when my family comes into town. Um, house project is getting 184 this week. Yay. 50, 70, 80, 1, 2, 3, 4. We built this one up with my pay as well. Um, house project, frankly, is kind of like first on the chopping block if something goes awry because it is completely superfluous in terms of like importance. Um, but I earned income, so I was able to supplement it. So anyways... Now in house project, I have 1, 2, 3, 54, 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So 476 in house project. That makes me feel so happy. Because we're almost done the house, or we're almost done the office project, which means that most of this is going to go toward our screen doors. But um, I do still have some like little like organizational things that I need to get. Um, but it's not going to take much from like the total number. So that is very, very exciting. We are moving right along with that one. And then last up is our holiday sinking funds. And then let me just pop in here. First up is gifts and, oh, oh, I thought I was skipping it. No, it's getting $10 this week. And so now in gifts, we have 100, 10, 20, 30, 45, 46. 146 in gifts. Parte is also getting $10. And now it's got 10, 20, 30, 40, 55. Uh, Valentine's Day is being skipped. It's got five. You showing that? Got it. <laughs> it's just one five dollar bill, and poor Easter is empty until next month. Got that? It would be it would be zero. Twenty <laughs> twice in a row. It's two jokes. <laughs> Your Peter Griffin laugh. <laughs> um, <laughs> vacation is being stuffed. It's getting where'd that go? Oh, there it is. Eighty dollars. So 50, 70, and 80. And now in vacation, we've got, I don't even know, 27, 50 in the bank. Is that what we have? And then 50, 100, 50, 70, 90, 210, 220, 30, 40, 55. So 255 in person. Boom. Booyah. That's a nice little dance you got going on over there. Thank you. Back to school is getting $10. And now it's got 100, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 1, 2, and 3. So 193 in back to school. Halloween's being skipped. It's got 50, 65, 66, 67, and 68. This one only gets stuffed once a month. The small holidays do. Although we did say that we were going to add in maybe New Year's Eve and 4th of July. but 4th of July. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Little, yeah. Little fireworks. Fireworks, little yeah. Anyways, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. It That's really like a after debt kind of situation. Yeah, that's not that. I think that Dave Ramsey would probably frown upon being like, um, I didn't pay extra on my debt because I bought fireworks. We also have a neighbor July. who drops probably $1,000 a yeah. year on fireworks. Next up is Thanksgiving, and we are actually stuffing it today, and it's getting 15, 10, and a 5. So now on Thanksgiving, we have 50, 70, 80, 95. 95, 95. There we go. Last up for the day is Christmas. It's getting 55. So 50 and five. And now we've got 500 in the bank. Oh, oh, oh. 
six, seven, fifty, eight, fifty, nine, fifty, nine, sixty, five, seventy, five, eighty, five, ninety, one, two, three, four. So nine ninety four in Christmas. Yeah. Oh wow. Alrighty then. Um, I know that we changed our threshold dollar amount to two hundred and fifty dollars. Um, I am not going to be doing a bow condensing at the end of March because I just have so much content coming up and from like an editing and uploading and maintenance, like emotional maintenance standpoint. Um, I didn't want to add another bill condensing on top of that because we do have some envelopes that have reached $250. Obviously Christmas has more than that. Um, so I'm going to do a bill condensing at the end of April. Just do mid-April. No, it's too much. All right. It's too much. So I'm going to do the end of April. Comment if you want a mid-April April condensing. No, no, no. Don't, don't, don't turn the people <laughs> against me. Because I'm already... So the first two weeks of April are going to have four videos each week. Oh, yeah. Okay. Right. And then the last two weeks of April are going to have three videos a week. And so it's just... It's a lot. It's a lot. So that's why I'm waiting until the end of April to do it, to like film it. And then it'll probably go up like early May, but still. Because then I have to do the May budget with me and the April Etsy and YouTube cash stuffing. It's just a lot. <laughs> Anyways, the pool is being skipped, obviously, as I have $0 left in my cash tray. My cash tray, which comes from Funs and Fun, a little shop that you can find on Etsy. And you should definitely stay tuned for tomorrow's little mini Etsy budget with me if you like this cash tray. Just saying. Anyways, pool's being skipped, but we've got 250 in the bank, 300, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So 320 dollars for our pool membership, which will be due before June 1st, I think. So and no dollars for the dollar savings challenge, which is kind of a bummer, but you know, it just it'd be like that sometimes. Anyways, that is that. Thank you all so much for tuning into today's video. I hope that you enjoyed it. And if you did, I would love it so very much if you would give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment below saying hi. Don't forget to tell me what your Easter dinner is. Maybe it's not lamb or ham. Hmm? Maybe not. Maybe, Maybe it's spam. Ew, no, don't do that. That's just terrible. Spam, no, 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 I'm traumatized. Tell me that you grew up poor without telling me that the, that the memory of the taste of Spam, that's just, that's its own kind of trauma. <laughs> Anyways, I hope that you guys have a fabulous rest of your Monday. And like I mentioned before, I will be back tomorrow with my very first little mini budget with me. Um, if you're new, what I'm doing for the month of April is including the budget with me for each week of my Etsy income. And then um, it's either the third Etsy income for the month or the fourth Etsy income for the month that I will also be budgeting my YouTube income from that as well, or with that as well. Um, I'm doing this because so many of you have requested to kind of see how I break my percentages down and what we decide to put money toward for that month. So that's why I'm doing it. Because when you guys ask me to do stuff, I really do try to comply. I'm still thinking about the nail tutorial video. I'm not ignoring it. I'm just temporarily placing that on hold. So anyways. I hope that you guys have a lovely rest of your Monday and I will be back here with you tomorrow for a mini budget with me. So can't wait for that one. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye everyone. Mm -hmm.